Welcome back and in today's video we have an Instagram influencer who pushed it a little bit too far for her Halloween costume dressing up as something that well it's it's really comparative as you know the Netflix film uh, cuties where they tried to showcase an example of something in a way that kind of hurt that example of, of something well this is a very similar thing and we're gonna get into that buckle your seat belts for today's episode of social commentary so if you're unfamiliar, Adora Batbrat is an Instagram influencer with over 143,000 followers. She's probably lost quite the bit after this recent uh, drama. As you can see, she's 100% privated her account. She has a, a YouTube channel with over 100,000 subscribers where she posts videos about being on top of uh, what's on top of the Christmas list. And it's also notable to point out that she has a, a, a band named Asperger syndrome syndrome and this kind of you know goes into the kind of offensive things that she does do Dora has a history of very problematic behaviors at one point she had a friend uh, move in with her the friend had a, a, a very not good experience so this friend talks about a very serious situation that led her to being hospitalized and uh, Adora let her stay with her in her daughter's room for around six months and they spent every day together. The friend goes on to say that Adora knew full well um, how she felt about her trauma and knew that this situation with the Halloween costume would be insanely uh, triggering. If you guys want to uh, read the rest of this, it will be in the description below. In a post on her Facebook posted around uh, September 27th, 2019, uh, captioned Burr Halloween she says I had an awesome Halloween with my uh, friend last year then states that I also had a trauma around that time that gives me tummy pain just hearing the word Halloween I'm feeling Sweden for Paris to get as far away from bad memories as possible so this right here is an example of where it, when it comes to her traumas she fully understands the feelings that it can invoke on a person this plays a part with the post that she did, that we're about to go over Another Instagram influencer by the name of uh, Serafina Mia Ma. Sorry if I butchered that. I'm, I'm Southern. I can't, I can't pronounce. She had Adora try on a, a onesie, a bat onesie here. And she told Adora that she didn't agree with what she did, that she wanted her to, uh, she wanted to take back her support, wanted her to take down the Instagram post showing her onesie, to which Adora then disabled the comments. But that's not all the comments that Adora disabled. She was also seen to disable uh, comments and shut down any other survivor that showed their discomfort with this post. So Adora has deleted all comments and pleased to delete this post and has kept it up as if I still support her. How soulless do you have to be to try and take down a small business? Guys, please help me mass report the pink onesie post for false information before I seek help from authorities. I'm so offended that she wouldn't even take the time to read the comments, but would opt to remove them and pretend this never happened. And I gotta say that I have evidence that shows that she did in fact know exactly what she was doing, but chose, not only chose to continue to do this, but then is currently still repeating this. Here's one of the pictures that she posted, as you can see, it says tonight's uh, It says, as I understand it in America, if you are a pretty girl, a girl who likes to party and who likes being sexy, you have all the responsibilities if you are So dressing up like this and also by getting drunk, I give my silent permission to be tonight's according to some I contemplated if my costume was tacky, but then realized reality was. Well, this is absolutely ridiculous, and the comments were disabled on this. If you look at the hashtags that she's targeted here, and also you see all this right here, she literally has tagged news articles, news outlets in this post. I gotta be completely honest, the full extent of just how uh, gross this Halloween costume was, it wasn't just the makeup, it wasn't just uh, the what was written on the shirt. Uh, she actually wore um, underwear that where she put fake blood in the downstairs region. I don't wanna get too graphic on this, but uh, it was a completely repulsive uh, representation. Uh, now, uh, she said that she didn't do this out of hate. She said that she did this to, to show um, how bad uh, was. Now, this is obviously likened to the same message that uh, cuties try to do to show how 
um, society and media, young girls, but as we we know, we don't kick a dog to show that kicking dogs are bad. We don't, uh, this is not something that we, we do. And I think for the most part, people understand that um, that is a terrible, terrible thing. And I w now I want to read you what her response to this actually was. Since I'm dressing however the F I want any day of the week, blood, lenses, wounds, nasty, scary, according uh, to the normies, for Halloween, I'm the scariest thing I know. Normal, I'm tacky, totally inappropriate, and my sense of humor is really low. Nowhere is this year's costume okay, but I'm going to do it anyway. I joke about everything, and this is inappropriate offensive and without respect towards those who have been subject of this, but I'm doing it. I, I think she meant out of, uh, no respect to these people. I, I hope I hope to God that's what she meant. Uh, she said she's doing it anyways. I'm making a tragic reality as the beautiful country USA has as a norm. I'm going political. I'm just going to be straight up with you. I'm from the United States of America. I don't know what she's talking about. It, it, this this is this is not right. That's not how it is over here. It's terrible here too. It's terrible all over the planet. And what you're doing is taking this these terrible things that's happened to people, and y y you're f it, glamorizing it and putting it out there for the world to see. Let's let's keep in mind that I, I showed you the post from her Facebook where when it was her trauma, it, it, it was something. It was a big deal to her. But when it's the trauma of others, it, it seems like it doesn't go both ways there. Now, on top of all this, as this backlash was hitting her, she doubled down and po made, posted other uh, pictures very similar. She went to parties. She was having a great old time. And I actually had a, one of her friends reach out to me. And was she said that she didn't agree with... Uh, what Adora has done, but she was trying to tell me that Adora was a good person. Now listen, this is directly to that friend. I've had piece of crap friends in my past. We were going over some of the uh, things that happened with the Davi Vanity situation. If you're unaware, Davi Vanity, Jesus David Torres is a, uh, he's a map. He's a, a terrible person. Um, he has so many people that have been affected by him. Young young girls, as, as young as nine, ten years old. Um, there was one particular situation that happened that wasn't physical. It was over the internet, uh, where he influenced and told uh, a ten-year-old to do things for him in front of the camera. This I had a friend that said, um, "This wasn't. This wasn't." anything like it is uh, it doesn't have to be physical to be to take it to be taken advantage of a person it just it just doesn't uh, is an umbrella term and that falls under it so what I'm saying is, is I've had I've had terrible friends that did terrible things um, you got to cut them off that's just how it is I haven't talked to that person in a good bit and uh, I give that person multiple, multiple chances, and they're just twisted. Um, I think that you need better friends. Uh, that being said, she's losing sponsors. Uh, someone reached out to Killstar and said, please don't ever mention her in your campaign. Send PR to her ever again. I'll never shop from you. Hi, thanks for bringing us her attention. I have passed it on to the relative, relevant departments. Uh, thank you. It's disgusting. Uh, blank culture is not costume. We, we do not support this, and we no longer work with this person. And this shows a little bit of her ego here. This is a screen cap somebody sent in to me um, where somebody said, if you had an OnlyFans, I'd subscribe. She says, uh, send me a PM. I might hook you up, but I'm a door bat brat, so it, I'm not cheap. I'm very exclusive on a number of clients. If you want cheap noodle alternatives, if you want cheap alternatives, you can find 13 of the dozen from lookalikes. So she's downing other uh, workers. As somebody that's been advocating for survivors uh, most of this year, this is something, um, this is the type of person that they have no empathy in this situation. It seems like this is a very selfish person. This is, uh, I'm told she's like nearing, she's not a young kid, she's nearing uh, 50, and that's not being ageist, that's just saying that at her age, she should understand completely her actions. So, I think that, um, 
I think it, from what I've seen, she doesn't deserve a platform. That might be harsh, but that's what I'm saying. But as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed that. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, so links are going to be in the description. Don't be pushed in any direction by anything that I've said here. I was a little bit oh, amped up about this video because of the situation. I know, but I really want you to form your own opinions. That's what we're about on this channel. Um, thank you to my patrons. Really appreciate the ongoing support. Um, we're about, well, uh, I think we're really close to the next goal. We keep bouncing back. We're like almost there and then we're not, but it's okay. Um, also, I'm working on merch. I'm working on a hat, a dad hat that's black with white letters that says Rep Squad Best Squad because, you, I mean, come on, Rep, Rep Squad Best Squad. And uh, that's just another way to show that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're going to do that. I'm going to subscribe and notifications. So be in the comment section after every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat's going to be there and the rest of the Rep Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there to this channel. Loves you. Oh, and I posted a motivational video on my Facebook page. I'll link it below.